Good morning, book club. Happy Monday. I can't believe how fast July is flying by. I'd love to know where you are in Earth's Angels by Beth Warsdale for our July featured read. Before this month, I had already read Earth's Angels, book one in Beth Warsdale's trilogy. And then throughout July, while you've been reading Earth's Angels, I've been reading book two, The Marillions, and also book three, Destination Unknown. I am going to share my reviews with you today of all three books in the trilogy, and I can't wait as you continue to finish reading for you to share your reviews as well. Remember, you can share here in the comments on YouTube or on our corresponding book club Facebook group page, and I can't wait to see what your entire reading experience has been like of the book. I've been really enjoying the discussions we've had um, each weekday throughout the month already, so I can't wait to see how you wrap it up and just everything you felt about it. Um, for your reviews. I'm going to go ahead and read book one, Earth's Angels review that I wrote from Amazon. And I'm going to share my reviews, one from each page that I've shared it on. I thought that would be fun. So Amazon first. Uh, my full review was posted as of February 15th, 2021. And I wrote this in two chunks. I first wrote it before I was done reading, and then I came back and put the addition to review. So I'll go ahead and read it through for you. I will admit that I am writing this review before I have finished reading the whole book, but it is because I am already in love with it. Authors can change the world with their words. And right at the beginning of this book, Beth Warsdale proves that she is one of those authors with concepts and story that can change the world for the better. The beginning goes right to your heart. And then suddenly you find yourself in the middle of a mystery that you can't wait to keep turning the pages to find out more about. And here's my addition to the review. I just finished reading this book in its entirety and am so hooked on this series. Beth's writing style makes it all feel like such a realistic story, which really connected me to the characters. I laughed and cried and can't wait to read what happens next. I am also in love with the end list section of how we can all be Earth angels. In addition to what my family already does on that list, I was excited to find out that biodegradable flushable cat litter exists. I added that into my Amazon cart immediately. Along with bamboo toothbrushes and I am still researching toothpaste drops. I have never heard of those and didn't find them in my first searches, but we'll be continuing to look. The messages in this book about life, family, and importance of every little decision we make for how it affects our planet and each other is such a poignant topic, and I feel like everyone needs to read this book series. I suggest buying the whole series at once because once book one ended, I know I was wanting to jump right into finding out what happens next in book two right away. And I love this about Amazon reviews too. I see one person found this helpful. I think that's great. So I can't wait to see all of your reviews added to this list. On to book two of Earth's Angels, The Marillions. I'll read my review from where I shared it on BookBub. The Marillions by Beth Warsdale has everything you could want in a good story. Love, laughter, suspense, overcoming loss, a bunch of adorable animals, and so much more. This book too, in the Earth's Angels trilogy, continues to delight as the human survivors prep for battle against the Marillions. Characters I already loved, I grew to love even more in book two. Beautiful descriptions of surprising locations set an endearing stage throughout the read. The Earth's Angels trilogy was voted in by the members as book club hosted by Heather Skinner's July 2021 featured read, and I am excited to read book three right away to see how the trilogy ends. I highly recommend the Earth's Angels trilogy as a book club read. The unique story elements, realistic and inspiring characters, and timely and important issues make for great discussion topics that all book clubs can enjoy. It is a sci-fi fantasy book, but has many elements of other genres to identify with and is a story of a family's love and strength together at its core. I really enjoyed the dragons, 
Beth Worsdale used them in a way I have never seen in a story before. I also enjoyed the moment where Mel has to push down empathy for the evil alien race they are battling so she can focus on fighting and protecting her family. That scene is so touching in the midst of the exciting battle that we have all been waiting for. And on to book three, the final book in the trilogy, Destination Unknown. I shared my reviews on all three of the platforms that I'm reading from today. So for review number three, I chose to read from my Goodreads account. First off, the cover of Destination Unknown by Beth Worsdale is so striking. I sat down and read the 388 pages of Earth's Angels trilogy finale, the fastest I have read a novel in a long time. I couldn't put it down. I love the way Beth left the ending open enough for the possibility of adding more to the story one day. And I know I would love to read more from the world she created. Her imagination knows no bounds. I won't go into specifics to avoid spoilers, but I will say it is a fantastic trilogy. I loved each book more and more as I continued to read the trilogy, and I highly recommend Beth Worsdale's work. Destination Unknown does not disappoint, and I would love if this trilogy gets made into movies one day. I hope you enjoyed hearing all of my reviews, and happy reading!